The Portuguese presidency of the Council of the EU calls on member states to reinforce the commitment to the rights of people with disabilities and to join the European strategy approved in March. The Minister of Labour, Solidarity and Social Security believes that it will be a challenge but also an opportunity and defended an integrated approach on this matter. At the high-level conference on the European strategy for the rights of persons with disabilities, Ana Mendes Godinho recalled the obligation of the 27 to implement a clear agenda for the rights of persons with disabilities and to move quickly from words to actions. The minister underlined that the Portuguese presidency will do everything to make this ambition come true. This strategy adopted by the European Commission for the period up to 2030 aims to ensure that all people with disabilities in Europe enjoy the rights they enjoy, can participate in society and the econ economy on equal terms and cease to be the target of discrimination. Its implementation aims at a more just, cohesive, solidary, progressive and egalitarian EU contributing to the realization of the European Pillar of Social Rights and its action plan. European Commissioner for Equality Helena Dalli, who participated in the meeting by video conference, reiterated the importance of the role of accessibility and independent living, as well as the importance of governance and monitoring. At the end of the first day of work, the Secretary of State for the Inclusion of People with Disabilities Anna Sofia Antunes rec recognized the effort that has been made to correct the asymmetries and inequalities that currently exist. I am sure that and confident that based on the reflections and interventions, we will be able to adopt conclusions that will allow us to build a more social Europe, which focuses on the constructive dialogue between all the member states, she said. Anna Sofia Antunes assumed the objective of proposing and presenting conclusions to the Council of Ministers of Employment, Social Affairs, Health and Consumer Protection, the EPSCO, in June, so that there is a political commitment from the 27 for the implementation and the concretization of the European strategy. The plenary sessions on the first of two working days allowed for joint and in-depth reflection on the promotion of policies for the inclusion of people with disabilities and their future development within the European framework. Regarding physical accessibility and goods and services as a form of full participation in society, the launch in 2022 of a European Resource Centre, so-called Accessible EU, was mentioned to contribute to the coherence of access accessibility policies and facilitate access to knowledge relevant in that area. The European Commission will begin preparations to create the Accessible EU Centre within the framework of the newly created Disability Platform. In another session, the topic of independent living, deinstitutionalization, and support services, which are essential to the process of self-determination of people with disabilities, was discussed. By 2023, the Commission will make recommendations to Member States to make improvements in terms of autonomy and inclusion in the community, allowing people with disabilities to live in affordable housing, supported by community networks or to continue to live at home, including in pension, pension schemes. And personal assistance is another matter there. Regarding employment and labor market integration, in 2022, the Commission will present a package to improve the results of these measures for people with disabilities in cooperation with the European Network of Public Employment Services, social partners and non-governmental organizations. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.